Some additional file menu options I want to discuss with you. One is the database settings. There's a few entries here you can change if you so choose. There's the encryption algorithm, defaults to AES. Another option if you feel like to choose that is 2FISH, it's 128 bit block cipher using 256 bit key. I'm going to keep the default. You also have this number here, it's the number of key encryption rounds. Of course, you can read this. And it says here the higher the number, the harder are dictionary attacks. Dictionary attacks where someone is trying to break your password or enter your system using dictionary attacks. So they go through each word in the dictionary. Of course, there's a trade off the higher the number, the slower the database loading and saving. And then the last option here is a nice option default username for new entries. That means every time I add a new entry in the database, the username will default to the name I've entered here. So if you find you're going to be using a generic username or a username for many different password entries, just go ahead and enter it here. Another option here is print preview. So for whatever reasons you want to print your database entries, you go to print preview and you can check and uncheck different things here you'd like to have print. I'm not a big fan of printing passwords and have carrying them around, so I would definitely uncheck that one. But once you click OK, watch what happens. It's going to default to an HTML print preview. It's a nice little option. That way you can see all the fields that are going to show up when you print. And the last option here I wanted to mention was to print. So by printing that, you would print the fields that we've selected. In KeyPass, you do have some view options to customize your view. Click on the View menu. The first option is Change Language. Right now we're using English. And if there's additional languages you like to install, click on this button and you'll have an option to go to the KeyPass website to download support for additional languages. Show Toolbar. If I uncheck that, Toolbar disappears. Check it again, it reappears. Show Entry View. The Entry View is this portion down here, this gray field down here, a gray box. You're wondering, well, what information is there? Well, I don't have an entry highlighter right now. So if I go to my email, click on that, and then click on that entry, you'll see this information is down here. So it is helpful without having to open up the entry itself. If you click on Always on top, the key pass application will be the window that's always on top, regardless of what other windows you have open. I'm going to uncheck that. You have an option to hide your username behind asterisks and also hide passwords behind asterisks. Once again, I would recommend that you keep your passwords behind asterisks by default. Call me paranoid, but just in case someone's looking over my shoulder, I prefer not to see what password I have. TAN view options. What are TANs? TANs are one time passwords often used by banks, or sometimes used by banks, I should say. It stands for transaction authentication number. I'm not going to go into too many details about that. If you think it may be useful, I encourage you to explore it a little more. You can sort your password list by this option here. Currently, I have no auto sort. By checking these, you'll sort your passwords based on these columns. And also, you, you can show additional columns. You'll see I have five columns right now. If there's additional columns you'd like to add, just go ahead and check on that. And there it is. There are additional options you can change in KeePass. If you go to the Tools menu, click on Options, you'll see this their Security tab. When we have discussed some of the security settings you can change in KeePass, including automatically locking the workspace after the following number of seconds. In an earlier video, I mentioned I wasn't sure if this was working, but I did test it and it is working quite effectively. So after 30 seconds of no activity, it will lock your workspace automatically. You can change how the interface looks or the GUI looks within KeePass. I'm not going to go through every single option, so I'd encourage you, if you are interested, explore each tab, each category. Also, there's some file options here, memory. This is interesting. You have a timed option here for a clipboard behavior. So when you copy your username or password to clipboard, you'll see the copy data to clipboard and clear automatically after some seconds. Currently, it's 10 seconds. You also have an enhanced option allow pasting only once and protect against clipboard spies. So if you are going to copy your password and username to clipboard, I encourage you to look at these options here. There's some setup options as well, including associating the KDB file, and some advanced options broken down by integration, 
start and exit, opening a database, backup, and events. Let's look at the help menu in KeePass. If you click on help contents, there is some basic help here. You'll see there's an introduction and some other information, including first steps tutorial. There's a basic user guide, some information about features, and of course, some frequently answered questions. If you really enjoy using KeePass or you plan to use KeePass, I would encourage you to visit the KeePass homepage. There's plenty of helpful information there, including additional help, information about future upgrades, and also you can download plugins. Plugins are additional functionality you can include or install in KeePass. Word of caution, the plugins are developed by other developers other than the folks who developed KeePass. Hey, if you really enjoyed KeePass, since you are using it free, why not donate a few bucks? What's one or two dollars out of your pocket to use this great program and to encourage future development on this password manager? You can check for an update. There's some basic information about translation in other languages. Of course, we've seen this before about KeePass. Some additional links here and about the program you're using. Of course, we're using version 1.10.